And looking around the Pine Belt now, cloudy skies and the threat of rain didn't keep thousands of people from coming to downtown Collins today for the 34th annual Okotoma Festival. Our Charles Harrington has a look at all of the food, music, and other activities that made up this year's big event. Many people spend the first Saturday in May in downtown Collins. It's like once a year and you get to come out here with all the community members and just have a good time with family and friends and usually this is where you meet everybody. Oh, I love it compared to the things that are going on in the world and in the city and just to see everybody having fun, especially the kids and, and being able to enjoy life. I love it. I do. There was lots to love at this year's annual Okotoma Festival. There were plenty of carnival rides, cars to see, live music, and animal encounters. Also, lots of food to eat provided by lots of vendors. From the car shows to the parades and to all of that stuff in a small town like Collins, I think this is something that definitely just uplifts Collins and uh, puts us on the map. It's always great time, great people, and uh, you know, we stay so busy. At the end of the day, we sell out every year. Every year, thousands of people visit the Okotoma Festival, and every year, it's a big boost to the local economy. It's definitely a boost for sales tax. Every year we're turning in several thousand dollars, you know, for the state, from the vendors. Even if it was sunshine, I don't think I can ask for anything better than today has been. Shoemake says more than 130 food and arts and crafts vendors took part in this year's festival. Charles Harrington, WDAM7, on your side.